What's up, Full Ride Nation? I'm back for another one. For all y'all that don't know me, Christopher, former D1 walk-on turn starter, here for your daily motivation. I hope you guys getting yourself in shape. I know I'm getting myself in shape for this upcoming season. Hey, man, today's video I'm talking about, he embarrassed me. He embarrassed me. As much as I like to tell you guys about the wins, I also got to tell you about when things don't go the way that you anticipated or the way that you planned it to go and how to bounce back and how to deal with adversity. So I'm going to tell you about the first time I got dunked on. See, and it was traumatizing, I'm not going to lie, because I didn't never, I had never been dunked on up to this point. I got dunked on in junior college. See, I was the person that did all the dunking. I dunked on you, but you didn't dunk on me. See, I come from an era of, I didn't take charges and I didn't do no flopping. You met me upstairs at the bucket. If you can jump over me, prove it. So this particular time, and it was in practice. Our point guard, Magic, he threw the ball to uh, Chris, uh, big man Chris Calderon. But the way that he threw the ball, it looked like he was shooting it. So he throws the ball up. I'm like, okay, but it looked like his shot was about to be off. So I'm going up to get that ball off the glass. The next thing I know, Chris Calderon comes out of nowhere and dunks on me chest to chest. And I'm talking about it was nasty. Everybody get to hollering, screaming. They start doing the ESPN, da-da-da, da-da-da. Coach even called, hey, practice is over. That's enough for the day. I'm like, no, no, it can't be over for the day. I got to get this man back. So I'm traumatized. I go home like, you know what, man? This ain't, the, it ain't for me no more, man. I done got dunked on. And uh, coach was like, look here, man. You don't worry about getting done, though. I can respect that and I can appreciate that. You know why? Because that let me know you were trying. You getting in the mix. That's what I like. You don't worry about that. I'd have been pissed had you not jumped. And so I took that and I said, you know what? That makes perfect sense. So guys, what you got to understand, you got to be in the play. And then the next time I got dunked on, I got dunked on again. And this time I just got dunked on in a game. Now, this was partially my fault. Because when the ball comes off the rim, I go up with one hand trying to be pretty and cute so I can snag it. For all y'all that don't know that, you get the ball with one hand and slam it on your other hand as hard as possible to make this loud sound. Well, anyway, I didn't, I barely jumped. Next thing I know, I had the ball in one hand. Next thing I know, the ball comes out of my hand. This dude has basically took the ball out of my hand and dunked that thing with two hands. When I tell you I got that ball back in bounds so fast and got up the court, nobody knew it was me that got dunked on. And so one of my teammates said, hey, man, that's what you get for trying to be cute. And you know what I said? He's absolutely right. So, guys, here's what I'm saying. Don't worry about bad plays. Don't worry about negative actions make sure you're in the play how many of y'all turn on highlights and the only thing you see well not the only thing you see but the greatest player of all time michael jordan you can look right now and watch Allen iverson cross that man up two times in a row but it doesn't matter because he was in the play guys stop being embarrassed by getting crossed or getting dunked on none of that matters you're in the play that's respectable. What ain't respectable is when you just talking about, oh, I ain't going to put my all into it because I ain't going to get embarrassed. Well, if you don't get embarrassed, you ain't playing the game. Man, get in the game, cuz. But anyway, for a ride nation, that's been another one for the day. Y'all know the drill. Let's compete.